with a mustache. No, that's not me with the mustache. Hello, my name is Michael Scanlon. Hi, I'm Ian Scanlon. We were Peace Corps volunteers in Gersif from 1977 to 1979. Uh, we were both uh, English teachers. I taught mostly the sixth and seventh years. And I taught the what, fifth. fifth and sixth levels. Well, it's September 17th, and we are on our way from McNess to Gersif. And Aya and I haven't set foot in Gersif in 27 years. Well, in preparation for uh, returning to Gersif, uh, I did go on YouTube and just put in Gersif, Morocco to see what. what we didn't want to be shocked too much. Right. Oh, how shocked? This is like, you know. Where are we? Yeah. Not the Gersif we do. Mosque is a one. A traffic light. Oh, yeah! A walk signal! Whoa. I mean, sometimes when we were here, you would see somebody taking their flock of sheep through the town. Of course, yeah. very common. You. But the Natalisa, I guess. Look at all those pastel colors. Mm -hmm. Mike and Ehaz uh, returned to Morocco gave me a second chance to see the school where they taught me, the school I haven't seen for 40 years. That's right, yeah. They built it while we were here. And you remember that was the classroom where you taught us? That's right. This is one, yes, the floor one. This was uh, the class that I taught my sixth year students in. I can see a lot of and Kibiri sitting over there. <laughs> so you remember everything. You remember every detail. Yeah, that was great. And then we're coming to Ruth Dusta right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do Dusta. The soup is out there. The house is here. It's still there. Let's see. Well, it's this, I guess. Yeah, the great door. Yeah. I, I think it may be. It is. We were surprised that the house where we lived was still standing because all around it is a lot of development. One other thing that we did while we were there was to go and see the hotel where we stayed for the first maybe three nights that we were that we were in Gersif. Uh, we just went up and looked at a couple of rooms and we looked at the outside and the inside. And while many things in Gersif have changed in the last 40 years, this place hasn't changed a lick. But we're happy to report that because at least something looks familiar to us and we're happy about that. Adieu Gersif, goodbye Gersif. We don't know if We'll ever be back here, but this visit has exceeded our expectations. Well, today was a <clears throat> glorious day. There were about four things that that I wanted to do, and I guess A wanted to we do. We were too. in agreement. That's right. The first was to visit the school where we taught. Uh, another was to. Uh, see the if the house where, where where we lived was still there to see if the hotel where we spent <laughs> our, first our, our first couple of nights in Gersif was still there and I think the fourth thing was to uh, just see what there was in Gersif that that we still that was still there that we remembered now during the course of the of our visit to the school I was able to pull up uh, the names of people from 40 years ago. And the guard looked at me and said, you're a Garcifi, which I thought was really quite a compliment. He was impressed. There was no question about that. 
Right.